a snap. Welcome. Right, so Thirty-eight seconds in or whatever. Hello. Hey, it's up. Welcome. Hey. Hi. Hey. So, um. Welcome back to introduce time ourselves. Too. Oh yeah, gamer. Gamer. Melbeast. Gages. Since this is a new playthrough, um, we are going to do the genocide the run genocide. of Why? Undertale. We're gonna do Why? we're gonna do True Hell run the because genocide. games, Kill aka everything. No Mercy, aka Thank you, Melanie. Yes. yes, getting why because he seems won. yes. Oh. A lot of people aren't cool with calling it genocide, so whatever. Yeah. That's why we'll, I call, we'll call it, it True Hell. Else. Yeah, or No Mercy. Yes, No Mercy run same. <sighs> okay, Tim. It's, all you. It's gonna be very sad. Yes, your hearts will be broken. Maybe. <laughs> yes. Seems as if everybody's perfectly happy. Monsters have returned to the surface. Peace and prosperity will rule across the land. Jesus, sound like church. Take a deep breath and let Jesus into your heart. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Praise oh, it him. Burns. <laughs> My skin is seething. There's nothing left to worry about. Ellipses. <laughs> well. <laughs> Period. I don't remember the details exactly, but. Da, 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 da. <laughs> there is one thing. The elder? Oh, no one has seen him since the wizard began collecting victims. Da, 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 da. <laughs> one last threat. I'm so confused. One being with the power to erase. Everything. Oh shit, is it us? This dick. <laughs> Everything's everyone works so hard for. <laughs> I just, <laughs> you saying that, I just pictured someone just like slapping their dick on a piece of paper on the desk and just rubbing it around. <laughs> Erase. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> this, is, this is off to a, a nice, serious, and respectful start. Super. Well, we're we taking it very seriously. Trust me, the mood's gonna change rapidly. I know, we're getting it out of our system. Check out our Because Game stores for um, eraser dildos. Eraser oh my god. Eraser <laughs> dicks. <laughs> Jesus. You know who I'm talking about. Don't you? Don't ya. That's right. I wish your girlfriend was hot like me. I'm talking about you. <gasps> me. Shit. Me. You me. still have the power to reset everything. Because I'm God. Toriel, Sand, Asper, Alphys, Papyrus. <laughs> he said ass. <laughs> Undying. If you choose... Everyone will be ripped from this timeline. You say it that way, it sounds so brutal. I set back before all of this ever happened. Nobody will remember anything. You'll be able to do whatever you want. That power? I know that power. That's the power you were fighting to stop, wasn't it? The power that I wanted to use. But now, the idea of resetting everything, I, I don't think I can do it all again. Not after that. Ellipses. So please, just let them go. Let first be happy. Let first live. Hell no! Oh my God. <clears throat> nah. Nah. Not feeling it. But if I can't change your mind. If you do end up erasing everything, you have to erase my memories too. Oh, no, that's real. That's not I'm that. sorry. You probably heard this a hundred times already, haven't you? I love this. I love that because it implies that, like, You've... for us, this is the first time we've beaten the game. Yeah. But, yeah. Oh, well, that's all. Suck my dick. See you <laughs> later. Cervix. <laughs> <laughs> Um, right, so, so for those of you who don't know, what we're getting ready to do is what's called a true reset, which is if you play through the game the whole way through, if you either do a true pacifist or a true genocide run the first time through, when you beat it, you can do a true reset where you reset the whole game, like everything. Because like if you play through and Otherwise, you get a neutral ending, it'll yeah. remember everything. Yeah. But when you do a true reset, it forgets all of that. It just so all the shit that you fucked up on will be gone. So this is Thank the, God. so this is the first time that we've touched this save file since we beat our pacifist run, which was about a month ago. Almost a month ago, it was Christmas Eve, 
and I'll super serve gonna it. do it. Serve it. Bye. Oh, it's bye, so cervix. Uh, so we are we are doing this. Um, we're doing badass mode. Charizard. Oh, you have to do lowercase for the rest, I think. Oh. Uh, so oh, yeah, you do. Yeah. So we are doing this. Uh, true badass mode where we uh just We're I think it's just one R. Is it one R? Yeah, it's one R. Where we are playing as Chara. Chara. Um, for those of you who might not know, um, you know what? We're, we're, we're not gonna spoil name. anything. Yes, this is. This is the correct way to do the No Mercy run. Brandon is is headbanging with the horns up. You can't see oh, right fuck now, yes. but we're rocking out pretty hard. Look at that rocking out with my flowies. cock out. Look at all those dead flowies. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> this is a whole different experience than the last time we were here. I all hate right. the flowey sprite. I hate it. Howdy. I'm flowey. Flowey the flower. Hmm. You're new to the underground, aren't ya? Aren't ya? <laughs> Golly, you must be so confused. Well, you see, when a man and a woman meet... <laughs> <laughs> when a mommy and a daddy love each other very much... Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry. Grim's so when I teach you how things work around here... I guess a little wheel I have to do. Ready? Bend over. Oh my god! <laughs> and he gets the creepy face with I the mean, teeth. Basically, <laughs> it's really not that far off from. Oh, uh, true. Yeah, from Mark, what's about to happen? Your soul. The very combination of your feet. Do we have to do the voices again? Yeah, we do. Uh, your soul starts off weak, but you can grow again. Grow. Strong. <laughs> If you gain a lot of love. Uh, LV. LV. A lot of LV. Tim not read so good. <laughs> I'm not going to Kool-Aid. We're off to a shaky start. Go you know to what? Kool it's okay. We're doing it. We've already reset. Send me to Kool-Aid, We did. We can't stop now. I need to go to Kool-Aid. We need to go to Kool-Aid. Kool Kool Get high education. <laughs> Tim, Tim need higher education. Oh, God. You want some love, don't you? Well, bend over. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll share some with you. Oh, I don't like it. <laughs> I like the little animu star that comes out when he rings. Yeah. Love is shared through little white friendliness pellets. Yay! Yay! Move around. Get as many as you can. Take them right to the face. <laughs> oh, that's, that's hey, buddy, what I You missed them. Let's try again, okay? Oh, God. Motherfucker. I'm is awesome. this a joke? Are you brain dead? Run into the bullets! Oh. You yeah, have blown up. Oh, music. Uh. Oh, you know what's going on here, don't you? You just wanted to see me suffer. <laughs> uh. Nice. Die! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Whee! Toriel used Ember. What a terrible creature. <laughs> we, had, we had this whole conversation about how we were gonna, about how Brandon was gonna give Toriel a different voice and not be Cleveland anymore. And you know what? I think that I, well, that's that's her voice. Damn it! Like I can't, I can't. get over it. This is this is still our channel. This is still our run. This is. <laughs> That's true. We did the entire ending dialogue of the past was run an hour worth of just end game content. That's so true. I think this is just her voice, man. Like, let's just do what we know. Got it. Torturing such a poor innocent <laughs> youth. Ah, do not be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. Tutorial. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You are the first human to come here in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. That's so creepy. Straight to D's nuts. <laughs> this way. <laughs> Straight to D's. Straight to D's. Straight to Bofa. Alright, it's about to be the real deal. What's Bofa? What's Bofa? It's about to be the real deal. Oh, it's, shut up. It I started. Can't we're really doing this. It's it started. Believe it! No. <laughs> Wait, racer. Welcome to your racer. new home, innocent one. Allow me to educate you in the operation of the ruins. Oh, so you just step on some buttons and stuff happens. Ta da! The ruins are full of puzzles, ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. One must solve them to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the side of them. Okay, bye. And then there's nothing.
not a single puzzle like that in the whole game. No. Right? To make Ever. progress here, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry, I have labeled the ones that you need to flip. Except they won't be any more. Oh, they are still. Oh. I thought when you did- never mind. Oh, that's if you do. Just kidding. None of that probably made sense, but that's fine. Splendid! I am proud of you, little one. Let us move to the next room. Let us. As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. However, worry not. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, just stab it in the chest. You'll enter a fight. <laughs> While you are in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Stall for time, I will come to resolve the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. I mean no. killing it. Only life were that simple. Yeah. Just stall for time and someone else will come to resolve the con- Oh! Oh. You won! Oh no. Ah, uh, the dummies are not for fighting, they are for talking. We do not want to hurt anybody, do we? Come, come now. <laughs> it's such painful foreshadowing. There's another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. It's in my anus. Mm, I don't want to, I don't want to. <laughs> so, okay, so- Love You're not increased. With the smaller encounters like that, um, can we do the thing where we do what we're supposed to do and then it gives us a spare option and, and then we kill it regardless? Yep. Do we get more points for that? You do get more love for that. Ugh. Alright, right, I'm let's sorry, do you it. get more XP, EXP. Execution points! This is the puzzle, but here, take my hand for a moment. God, how long. Do y'all- when did we start our pacifist run? Was it like uh, October? Yeah, probably about October-ish. God. We've come so far. We no, know- we're killing him. We know so much. Puzzles seem a little too dangerous for now. Even though I just totally watched you destroy that frog. <laughs> right? You have done excellently well, thus far, my turn. child. I almost feel like Toriel's kind of in denial, like, for this version of the game, where- I think she's just pretending that we're not this like little demon shit. She's like, oh, well, you don't know any better. Yeah. You're just an innocent child who just really likes killing stuff. I just love killing. Just Y'all's can't get enough. <laughs> killing and chilling. Have you seen the Rick and Morty episode with... <laughs> There's this episode with um, an assassin who's like the world's most deadly assassin, but he's also this really like upbeat, nice guy. And he's like, here's my card. If you ever need me to kill anyone, just let me know. Like, Who old people, animals, I don't care. It was in season two. It's the one, um, it's actually one of my favorite episodes. It's the one where they come across, like, the cloud entity from another universe mm. that sings the Goodbye Moon Man song. And I think that that's, um, one of the Flight of the Concords guys. I think that's, hmm. <sighs> I'm blanking. I'm a bad fan. But yeah, and that, that's the one with Blitz and Chicks, <laughs> where they go to the, it's like Chuck E. Cheese's, but for space aliens, and they play Roy, the simulator where you just live out the life of a boring man. <laughs> anyway, Any sorry, hero. well, Kerbopulous Michael is like, I just love killing. Apparently if you like wait there us. for five minutes, Tori will, will call you. Every five minutes, but I don't think we will. It'll be, it'll be a funny progression of the story, but... It will require us sitting here and just bullshitting for like 15 Three minutes. minutes. Jesus. Yeah. Are you saying you want to do that? I mean, we can. It's if anybody else, like, if they actually care. Because, I mean, there's other videos, obviously. Yeah, you know, let's, just, go. let's just go. I mean, that's a long time. Oh my god, the frog is gone. Hello, yeah. this is Toriel. You have not left the room, have you? There Did are a few you? puzzles ahead that I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous to try and solve them yourself. Be good, all right. Frog Please don't murder gone. everyone. He's dead. Get some man. monster candy. Get some candy. I shove my hand in a fucking candy jar. Just push your dick in it. How, How disgusting. disgusting. <laughs> take, take one, take a candy. You take another piece. You feel like the scum of the earth. Oh my god. Okay, I know if I take another one, it's gonna break it. But I mean, it doesn't matter, right? No, oh, no. fuck it. So. Are we gonna leave in all the grinding, or are we gonna edit out? We're gonna edit out. Like when, if we, when we get before certain parts, we'll just kind of end the episode, do the grinding for that area necessary. Because I mean, on. it started now. Like this is the first. Area. Yeah, this is yeah. 
Uh, right, Wimsom. So if, if we're funny, we'll leave it in, but don't worry, everybody. Um, oh, yeah, the, uh, the grinding part is gonna go bye-bye. Like, maybe, maybe if we're having, like, a particularly fun or interesting conversation, but otherwise, we're not gonna make everyone sit through us just, uh, grinding for the sake of it. However... Yeah, we're, we're gonna do, like, the super Lushes. asshole mode, where you can just attack shit, and it's it's still a genocide run, or kill mercy, or whatever you want to call it. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. I didn't know he meow. <laughs> <laughs> but we're doing it the fucked up way, where first you make the, you yeah, lull them into a false yeah. sense of security, and you make them think that we're not gonna kill them, and then, and then you kill them. Yeah, Hello, this is Dario. For no reason in particular, which do you prefer? Penis or balls? Cinnamon. <laughs> Cinnamon or butterscotch? Cinnamon. Oh, I see. Thank you very much. Doesn't matter. Doesn't Does matter. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Anyway. Hello, this is Toriel. You do not dislike butterscotch, do you? I fucking like cinnamon. <laughs> I know what your preference is, but would you turn your nose? Would you turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? Yes. Right. Right, I understand. Thank you for being patient, by the way. So, what's the furthest we can go before we fuck up? The room with the triple rocks. Okay. Yeah, I tried to do a No Mercy run, and I didn't know all the rules. So I basically just did, like, a really shitty neutral run. And I, I super fucked up, man. I don't remember if I said this in the other one or not. But just in case I didn't, and anyone is like looking for tips and tricks with our playthrough, um, don't kill Flowey if you're doing anything other than like a by the rules no mercy run, because it will not only fuck up that run, it will fuck up your entire game. Um, you have to uninstall and reinstall, because I, I was like, okay, so I didn't do it right, I'll go back and do it again, and I started the game over, and Flowey just... Oh, that, so we can't go past this room? Yeah, we can't okay. go past this okay. room. Okay. I was about to I'm like, no, the triple rocks! <clears throat> and uh, Toriel just shows up, there's no Flowey. So I was not able to do, like, anything, and it fucking sucks. <clears throat> Don't do that. There, there, do are, drugs, kids. there are spoiler-free guides also for doing the, the bad time run. Mm -hmm. That's another thing I've heard people call. I think that the might be bad, bad, bad time. Bad time. Yeah. Think, <laughs> bad touch. I think when we upload this, that's what we should call it. Bad, bad time run. Bad time, yeah. Just to differentiate, like, whatever, however many episodes our pacifist run ends up being, I think this should be, we should start over at one. Yeah, definitely, yeah. yeah. I agree. Genocide. Yeah. Oh, God. We're killing everything. Yep. Yep. We are killing everything. All the time. Whoa there, partner. Whoa there, partner. Who said you could push me around? Hmm? So you're asking me to move over? Okay, just for you, pumpkin. Oh, um, my God. It's cinnamon. I like the what sassy you? rock. Hmm, you want me to move some more? Alrighty, how's this? Look, I'll kill you if you don't hmm. fucking move. <laughs> that was the wrong direction. Okay, I think I got it. Is that helpful? Haha! Hmm, you wanted me to stay there? You're giving me a real workout, sassy Yeah, because you're fat. You're fat. I'm sorry I took all your food. <laughs> Even though you were fat, it probably helped you lose weight. <laughs> love, love princess. Yeah, like she's terrorizing. She's eating all the food from this village. And like they're starving. Poor love this face. I'm sorry I ate your food. I'm sorry I ate your food. Even though it probably helped you lose weight because you're fat. <laughs> <laughs> no, they were just like regular walls. That's when the drama started. <laughs> well, how did you know what they were saying? Ooh, they talking their body language. <laughs> I love it. We need to just like, as as a, as a group, just watch like the best of Lumpy Space Princess. <laughs> we should. I'm sure it's on YouTube. I'm sure there's some kind well, of like... When we play this game long enough, then we'll we'll use that yeah. as our happy place. Well, we're, we're going we're going to at some point during this 
recording session, um, we're going to take a break and play like Pokemon or something. <laughs> Can just, we also go get milkshakes? Is that, is that opposed to the plan? I'm, I, I'm not I really just want to fucking put a milkshake in my mouth. Fuck yeah. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard, and they're like, <laughs> it's better than your own. Huh? My milkshake what brings all the bees to my car. I spilled it all over my car. <laughs> bees are inside of my car. They could kill me. I'm allergic to bees. <laughs> <laughs> I wish there was a, I, I wish there was a way you could kill someone in Undertale. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> Throwing a milkshake at them and <laughs> then having kill, bees just come kill them. and give them a allergic reaction. <laughs> I wish I could say I made that up. Oh, you tripped into so a I will. So I'll totally take credit no, for it. No, someone on Twitter. That's Wait, a, that's cool. That's a funny Twitter person. Wait, that's cool. Wait, that's cool. Ooh, that's pretty. Bad. My milkshake brings all the bees to my car. Bees are inside of my car. Kill me. I'm allergic to bees. <laughs> I love that it doesn't rhyme. Like... <laughs> To me, that's the best part. Sometimes things like that, like when it's not accurate, <laughs> makes it funnier. Well, the meter's yeah. right. Yeah, the meter's yeah. right, but the rhyme scheme the is rhymes, all wrong. It, it's, that's what makes it oh, funny. Oh, it's perfect. I love it. I love shit like that. Well, I mean, I feel like when you, you just spoke. become afraid of bees, <laughs> they can kill you. You don't, you don't need to ride anymore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because, <laughs> because, <laughs> I'm allergic to bees. Like, inside of my car, I'm allergic to bees. Oh shit. oh shit. Oh shit. I could die. I two bees. That's how a character died in um, American Horror Story. Oh really? Yeah, like the wife um, had the husband's keys in his car, of his car, and he, she locked him in the car and he had bees in there. And he oh. had to get out she kept locking the door. Jesus. That's, that's fucking brutal. Coven. I the, didn't see uh, all of that. the super oh, religious yeah. mom. Yeah, no, I know, I know who you're talking about. As soon as you said it, I was like, I remember that. That was fucked up. Yeah. Hey, the worst. Ha! Ha! Oh yeah, she's smothered him. Spoilers. Spoiler alert! <laughs> you suck. Spoilers Spoiler alert. for several seasons ago. Spoil that. Spoil that. Spoil that. Spoil that. Soiled it! Soiled it! What's that one? SpongeBob. <laughs> Cause we're adults. Yeah. Oh shit, we're level 3 already. I haven't seen as much SpongeBob as I should. I mean, I've seen some, but SpongeBob came around when I was like. I was just in that like small bracket of, of age where you think you're too cool for school before you get over it, mm -hmm. and then start liking fun things again. I was like, oh, Spongebob's stupid, it's for babies. And then, oh my god. You know. Oh then, my god. Well, then a couple years later, first of all, I unbent a lot, and then I also started smoking pot. <laughs> and I was like, ha, Spongebob's funny! Everyone's like, we know. <laughs> Welcome to the Spongebob well, I, I gotta give, um, uh, an ex-girlfriend of mine, um, who's a few years younger than me, she... she oh, Melanie likes younger women. Oh, oh, cougar. Oh my god, like a, a whopping three years. Oh my god, <laughs> Braddy. Oh, Tim. Oh. You're four years older than me. Oh. Ooh, that's okay, I'm three years older than my girlfriend. So. Snap. Three years is fucking nothing, man. Yeah. Like, that doesn't even count. Four years is <laughs> Apparently, Melanie likes older men and younger women. <laughs> I mean, I like all men. Sometimes. Women. I've dated guys younger than me. I have not dated any women older than me, though, so there you go. I don't know if I would want to date a guy younger than me. I feel like it's too much responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> well, it depends. Too. That's how like, I feel. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're kidding. Tim immediately regretted that decision. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she um she was not too cool for school for SpongeBob, so she saw to my education. She also she likes the Star Wars prequels, like legitimately likes them, and that was like uh, what? Wow. <sighs> she was just yeah. Well, she she was just the age where like she wasn't old enough to be jaded when they came out. She was just like, oh cool, a movie. 
So to her, like, they're, they're in that nostalgia period of her childhood, whereas for me, I was just old enough to be completely heartbroken by them. It took, well, it took me a while. I think we might have mm-hmm. talked about this on you the show, You were alive too. just in time to be scarred by the Christmas special. Oh, God, the Christmas oh, special. <laughs> no, that, that came in my adulthood. I'm not that old, thank you very much. I, I was not a child in the 70s. I wasn't even born yet. Ugh, so bad. I've I've come to like the prequels more as time has gone by. Well, now they feel older, too, now that they're, like, fucking, well, like, 15 years old at this point. Honestly, They've like, aged enough that I'm like, yeah, okay, I guess that's fine. Well, how I feel, like, because I went to go see Star Wars recently, and I was like, honestly, like, a lot of people have a lot of feelings on the, the latest one, like, oh, if you're a true Star Wars fan, you can enjoy it that much, and blah, blah, blah. It wasn't as good as the other ones, but let's be oh, honest. Oh, shit, the new one like, was awesome. The older ones, the acting wasn't all that great either. Like, it was... You you just can't say anything bad about the older ones because it's nostalgia. Like, it's yeah. Yeah. it's from a different time. You can't be like, oh, this sucks. Like, nobody wants... You just can't say things like that about those. Either. So... <coughs> I think they're all good. I like them all. I just wish I'd... Like, I wish Star Wars was prevalent enough in my life to where I could, like, genuinely enjoy it. It just wasn't something you were into as a kid? Well, like, it just wasn't something that I was introduced to until I was, like, an older teenager. Like, one, by the time I was, like, 15, 16 years old. So at that point, I just, like, I, it was too late for me to get into it. You're like um, burger pants. You're like, I'm an old man. Older, <laughs> older teenage years, old man. I remember, I remember playing, um, Pokemon. Exactly. Besides that one time. <laughs> but honestly, you watched it. Yeah. So, I guess I'll play it for the channel. Um. Yeah. So I'm probably never gonna be motivated, like motivated <laughs> to look my own. To be honest. It's super. I mean, once you get into it, if you I have. I think we're gonna call Dwight playing Pokemon instead of saying like let's play Pokemon. It's just gonna be Dwight plays Pokemon. Dwight plays Yellow. Pokemon. <laughs> Aww. And we're sitting there like, do it, fight it. Okay, just no mercy. Okay, just <laughs> Can't spare these Pokemon. <laughs> We do another can block. we can we talk about oh, um can we take a second to talk about how savage President Obama is right now? Oh Jesus, are we getting um, political? We well we're not getting political. Just as one thing okay. made me laugh really hard. I guess during one of his um one of his speeches, he said specifically, if ISIS thinks they can hurt America and get away with it, they've got another thing coming. Just ask Osama bin Laden. Oh, shit. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> he just made a joke about killing a terrorist because they attacked <laughs> our country. Like, damn. Also, like, during the same year, just, like, he said some things about opponents of gay marriage. Donnie T. And Kim Davis was invited. What? So Who like, invited her? <laughs> Mike Huckabee Ball. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Also, she wasn't dressed Gross. for a state Was she wearing one of her, like... Sweaters. Yeah, like her, like, middle school teacher sweater vest. Yes. Yeah, like, the ugliest sweater Gross. you think of to grace a president with your presence. A very good friend of mine who is a drag performer um, has a Kim Davis costume. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I, oh my god, I'm gonna need to track some video down so we can watch it. Because that, that makes me so happy. I didn't like, though, because on the internet, a lot of people were saying that her sweater was a the Cosby sweater. Oh, like, god. Just, like, uh, why why do people have to, yeah. Like, it could have been funny, but then you had a rainbow costume. Jesus, Jesus. <laughs> Uh, we have. Like we can, resist, like, can we? Can, can, can we say for a second that even even if he if it, even if he actually did it, how can we 
go off of having literally zero evidence that this actually occurred and do this kind of stuff to like people's like childhood idols. That's that's what I'm that's what I'm curious of. Uh, I'm hesitant to say anything opinionated because I don't want people on the internet to yell at me. <laughs> but right, well, I'll say what I'll, I have to say. I mean, we might be saying the same thing. Go for it, Dwight. One, I think he did. I do too. Completely one hundred percent. Like. There's so much that is evidence out there. 50 people? Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you, Dwight, but it just happened. It just got real. We have officially started oh, a bad time run. Mm, bad gonna... time, Tim. Right. Bad time. You know who else isn't coming anymore? Because he's in jail. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, maybe. Should this other people could be? <laughs> should, we, should we end the episode no. here? I feel like no. this. <laughs> but, uh, but, hang on, uh, hang on. Uh, stop. Uh, uh, Can we take a moment of silence, please? Listen. Music has changed. What music? It's very, it's very spooky and creepy. I can't hear it. Oh, never mind. Turn that back down. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. how you know you killed everything. We don't need to hear that. Oh, it's so okay. creepy. The name of I'm watching Silent Hill. It makes my penis soft. Okay. Do the Napster Blue fight and then edit there. Okay. Yeah, I'm d I'm down with that. Let's do okay. it. Since we have we've already we already finished all the grinding. Since we have now reached. Yeah. Now that we finished can. talking about people in jail grinding on Bill Cosby. Oh <laughs> damn. Oh yeah. The cheese. Yeah. Once once you do this, it changes. It, um, it, it changes, changes everything. Determination. Like I don't. I'm pretty sure the mouse doesn't. Oh, the mouse does still squeak. Stay in there, this mouse. This cheese has been here quite a long Stay time. Stay in there and it's never come out. <gasps> yep, there you go. Uh, when you do... Uh, uh, I don't like it. I don't like it. Well, I don't so like it. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and end the first episode here. Um, Thank you for um, tuning in to our bad time run. We are... Indeed, having a bad time. Well, I'm, I'm we're about very, to start having a well, bad I'm time. Just, we, well, we've been having a good time talking about other things, but now shit just got incredibly real, and uh, it's gonna, it's all going south for my here. soul. Bad time. Ugh. I hope Bill Cosby has a bad time for the rest of his life. Yeah, I do too. <laughs> Fuck that guy. Yikes. Oh my god. <laughs> all right. Yay! See you guys. Now that we know how everybody really feels about the subject, just saying, just putting it out. Bye. Bye.